All right, welcome to Photoshop. And today we're gonna to take a look at focus stacking and I'm gonna use a flower because I had people complain that I used the bug and they don't like looking at the bug. So we're gonna take a look at how to focus stack. Now the program we're looking at here is Photo Mechanic. That's the browser that I use, but we're going to be doing this inside of Adobe Photoshop. And guess what? If you do it right, it's really easy. If you do it wrong, it's gonna cause you problems. So let's take a look at how to focus stack inside of Adobe Photoshop. So the first question most people are gonna be like, what in the world is focus stacking? So if you look at this image right here on this photo, this is in focus, but this one's a little bit in focus. This is out of focus. This is out of focus. This is out of focus. And the rest of this flower is completely out of focus. And that is because one of the rules of depth of field is distance to subject. And when you're hyper close to an image, when you're taking a photo, it can be very difficult to get everything in focus, even if you're shooting at something like F22. So then we use a process called focus stacking. And focus stacking is this, and I'm gonna go down through these images. What I've done is I've taken this flower and I've put my camera on a tripod. And I've started at the top of the image, which is right here, and I'm going to progressively focus towards the back, you will see. And I'm just changing that focus a little bit and taking a photo. So if we go down to the next, I've moved down a little bit, a little bit more is in focus. A little bit more towards the back is in focus. And look, we'll just slowly go through these. And you can see I'm moving back into the image, taking photos each time to get each little bit in focus. And then what you do is you take all these images and you put them inside of Photoshop and somehow by magic, it notices what parts are in focus and what parts are out of focus and it combines them into one image. That's the process of focus stacking. And in this image, you will see, I have quite a few photos to do this because the depth of field is so shallow, I had to take a lot of images moving through this photo. So the process, whatever you're using, Lightroom, Adobe Bridge, it doesn't matter. What you wanna do is you want to select all your photos. I'm gonna hit Command E, that will throw those photos into Adobe Camera Raw. And the first thing that we wanna do is adjust or tone these images, but we wanna do them all exactly alike or it's gonna throw this off. Another thing to think about when you're taking these photos, if the light changes, it's going to screw the process up. So make sure that your light doesn't change. So right now I have all these images selected. I'm gonna hit Command A on a Mac, that would be Control A on a PC, to select everything. And now, as you can already see, I've made adjustments, but we can reset that. So I'll hold my Alt or Option key, I'll hit Reset Basic, and what we're gonna do is make adjustments to this photo. And everything that I do to this one, it's going to apply to all of them. And that way, they're all gonna look exactly the same. So let's say we think that looks perfect just right like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit open. It's going to open every single one of these photos into Photoshop. All right, depending on your computer, this might take quite a long time. So what we're gonna do now, and you can see I've got all these tabs up here, but we need all these images to be into one file. And it would take a long time to move them, so we're gonna use this secret little trick here. So we're gonna to go to File, Scripts, Load Files into a Stack. So we'll come down here, click on that. And that brings up this window that says Load Layers. We're gonna say Add Open Files. Make sure that these are your only files that you have. Then we're gonna say Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. So everything is lined up, we wanna do that. However, if you forget, you can do this in Photoshop. And we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. Once again, Photoshop's gonna run through its magic and take all these photos and line them up into one image. 
All right, so you can see over here, we've got all those files as a different layer inside of Photoshop, but in one tab. We actually don't need these anymore, but we're just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna hit Command minus just so you can see. Because it auto aligns, you are losing a little bit of your image. That is something that we can definitely fix. But we're gonna wait until we do the next process to do that. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna select the top image and scroll all the way down to the bottom image. You're going to hold shift and click and that's gonna select everything between those two points. The next step is you're gonna come up here to edit and then go down to auto blend layers. And we're gonna hit that. We're gonna tell Photoshop how we want to do this. We want to do this as an image stack. Seamless tones and colors, content aware fill transparent areas, which will be over here and we'll hit okay. And that's it, there's no real trick here in doing this in Photoshop. It does everything for you. So that's one of the cool things about this. It would be extremely difficult to do this on your own. But you'll see here in just a second how well this looks. And boom, just like that, we're done. So you can see over here on the right-hand side that it's created mask and the white areas are the areas that it applied and the black areas are the areas that it kind of rejected. And it's combined all those photos into one. And so now you can see we have something in focus from the beginning through towards the back of this image. And this is something that you would not be able to do in a single capture because you are so close. I don't actually need all these layers. We've got the merged layer right up here, and this is going to create a massive file size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go layer, flatten image, and make this into one layer. And then we've got some little bits here that it didn't get, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of crop in a little bit so that we have this, and that looks good. And boom, just like that, we can come in here and start toning. Now you can see in this part of the flower, it's sticky, obviously, so we've, need to come in and remove some of these little particles that are stuck on here. Remember, this is like the size of your pinky fingernail or smaller, it is teeny tiny. So we can come in here and remove that. But look, that is the process to use focus stacking to increase your depth of field in an image. If you found this video helpful, it would be wonderful if you could give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can always leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.